right, so we're gonna be reacting to 10 things you should never talk about in Final Fantasy 14. I've heard a bunch about Lucy and I'm really excited to check out her stuff. And of course, uh, e-girls are kind of like my thing. VTubers are great. All right, begin. Hey, you want to know how to start a keyboard war in Final Fantasy 14? I do. Um, uh, my Nick manager told me I really need to rebrand this video if I don't want to get banned. So allow me to rephrase the question. Do you know how to avoid arguments in 14? <laughs> I'm just going to assume you said no because otherwise this video is completely useless. Don't even worry about it, human. Because I have spent a lot of my time wasting my time. Hey. Yo, same. I spend almost all of my time wasting my time. You and me, we're the same. Reddits, discords, YouTube comments, and even the dreaded official forum section. <gasps> now I have my hand on the bleeding heart of this best ever community. Whatever you do, do not use these and throw them into Reddit like a hand grenade and run away before the place explodes. This video is meant to help people avoid, uh, embarrassing and controversial situations. In so pretty much for the, the equivalent for World of Warcraft would be going to someone and go, Hey, I thought the Pandaren were a great choice to add to the game. And then war happens. Game. I'll even name it something real quick, Betty, like never talk about these 10 things in Final Fantasy 14. Oh, yeah. That said, now Yoshi P is definitely gonna give me some of daddy's cop. This is the part of the YouTube video where I. Yo, she's saying it. She's saying what I'm thinking. Hell yeah, Yoshi P. Do that liking, commenting, and subscribing to the Cringe Empire lets you see a special secret wrap at the end of every video. And when you subscribe to my channel, one blue mage casts self destruct. Join the good. Well, I already subscribed, so I did kill one. First and probably most infamous argument starter should healers have the DPS? If you weren't there back in the 2.0 to 3.0 days, here's the gist. If a healer wanted to deal decent damage, they needed to use Cleric Stance, which swapped their mind stat to Intelligence. This meant you couldn't heal for shit until you turned it off. They had stance dancing? They dance stances. That's that. I can't even begin. Healing itself is mind-blowing to me as it is. And then adding stance dancing on top of it? <laughs> Off. Then in 4.0, they removed the skill and made healer damage scale off of the mind stat. So now that it's piss easy to deal damage, it's no longer socially acceptable to drool all over the keyboard while spamming cure 3 on single target. Nowadays, the majority of healers will DPS without issue, but anti-healer DPS trolls will come crawling out of their graves if you bring up the topic in any way, shape, or form. Save yourself the headache and just don't. Trust me. Number 2, and let me know- Okay. If you're a healer and you aren't DPSing, just think of all the fun you're not having. Like, why play gun healer if you don't use gun? Like, come on. It's more fun. Think of it that way. Don't you want big number to hit boss as well as heal? This phrase triggers your fight or flight instinct. You pull it, you take it. I feel like this one isn't really specific to 14. It probably haunts other MMOs too, mm -hmm. but this argument comes up every other day on forums. Some players think only tanks should pull and that it's extremely rude to do it for them. It is. The other side thinks it's more rude to waste other people's time and not go with Bullshit. the pace that the party wants. There's a lot of other stuff that gets argued about when it comes to large pulls like tank or healer skill, whether the DPS are using AoE properly, lower broken gear. I could keep going, but I'd rather eat at a Burger King than see this argument rehashed ever again. Three, this time. Okay, weighing in on that right there. You go at the pace that the tank is comfortable with. You do that because if you don't do that, the party wipes. <laughs> I don't know if that's controversial, but DPS should not be pulling. One, because you're squishy and will die unless someone saves you. And uh, two, go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's the shittiest thing to do. The only time it's ever socially acceptable to pull the DPS is if you're in, you're in a pre-made group with your friends and they know you fuck around. If you're doing that in randoms, I... I can't. I can't. I can't. Nothing works you more than people pulling hard on the tank and... Exactly! Like, it's... <laughs> The DPS's job is to look pretty and do damage. That's all you're supposed to do. Don't go trying to like 
Ooh, I'm gonna aggro so the tank has to tank it. God damn it. Topic flies under the radar sometimes, but usually comes back around anytime a cool looking mock station item gets released. Not much to say here, some players just really, really hate the fact that there's a cash job and a subscription based MMO. Pretty silly, right? I mean, there's just I so mean, much content in the yeah, game it doesn't matter. ever on subs anyway. Can't believe they expect these items to be available with in game events or actual us or something. Other people don't care and see it as a way to support the devs beyond yeah, those paying. That's me, stuff, honestly. It's all like extra subs, not like it changes. Like like, I mean, if you're if you're wanting to support a game, then they have options to help support it. That's totally fine on my side. Um, I mean, none of it gives a a boost to your character at all. So that's when it gets bad. If it's not cosmetic, then it's fine with me. There's always the contention of boosts, though, which is an interesting thing. I personally think that boosting a character should only be allowed. Oh. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I was I was mid thought. Thank you, Larian. Um, I think that getting a boosted character should only really be able to be done if you already have a high enough level character, because then you're just throwing a child into the fire. At that point, it's wild. <laughs> tend to really not like it, so just steer clear. Number four, and this one's a biggie. Never tell someone that you find the job they play really easy. I mean it, human. Don't you dare! There's this weird sense of pride players have about their job being considered difficult by the vast majority of the community, and if you tell them you don't think it is, it kinda hurts their ego. <laughs> I mean, some people will be cool about it and agree with you, but I don't recommend taking the risk. If you really just wanna watch the world burn, make Make sure you say that Dancer and Summoner are difficult. As of 6.0, the community has decided you could play these jobs with your toes while eating a messy burrito and mid-brain aneurysm. Reminder, never go against the hive mind, human. And jumping off- I mean, fair. I mean, come on. You gotta roast people for being bad at the game. I mean, picking a, a class that's easy. Come on, it's fine. <laughs> Who's you should be allowed if you have a high enough level character of the same type? Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, of the same type, I mean, I don't know. Uh, that, I think that gets a little bit dicey at that point. Cash up is, isn't necessary, it's just kind of cosmetics and boosts. Yeah, definitely. Boosting also makes sense, boosting a fresh player, and eh? that's kind of my idea too, Kane. Off of that, number five, don't tell people that you think the game itself is hard either. Listen, if you're new to the game, it's only natural you find it challenging, at least at first. Some people have a tendency to forget that we haven't all been playing this game from the moment we escaped our mother's womb prison. If you mention that you find any main story dungeons or so Womb prison. You will be made fun of on the internet. They will go to great- I haven't been made fun of yet. I have died and wiped so many times, and I say I'm new and bad all the time, and no one's been mean to me so far. So I, I guess I've just kind of hit goldmine for that. ...to explain why the game is pitifully easy casual bait. If the idea of that terrifies me, I can only imagine you're shaking in your boots right now. But in our own boots. The advice is to not take it personally. The entire community has a bit of gamer PTSD due to trials being made easier and easier over time. It's a bit of a sore subject. Number six without the nine. Now don't feel bad if you've done this because uh, this one is a topic I myself haven't learned to shut up about. To put it simply, don't talk about job design. I mean, don't talk about it being good or bad because no matter which opinion you have someone will very strongly disagree with you definitely don't mention that you think a certain job is op or needs to be nerfed uh oh take kindly to nerf and talk round these parts cowboy don't be like me kid oh we got a cowgirl over here well how'd it do ma'am i agree with you talking about how he, how uh op or non op a class is well that just seems plum silly there's no winning here. Only the destruction of long-time friendships awaits you if you walk down this dark path. And for lucky number seven, we have Luggins! Yay! Obligatory warning that talking about this in-game can get you banned, so straight up, don't do it. Unless don't do it. Yeah, being in Yoshi P's naughty player dungeon gets you all hot and bothered. 
It does. Yeah, I regret that one. So anyway, there's debate over how plugins should be used. Some are okay with parsing DPS numbers, but draw the line at using plugins that give them unfair advantages, like 100% accurate mechanic callouts or lowering their ping down to zero. And, you know, modding every girl character to be automatically naked and well endowed both on top and, um... What? They have nudie mods? Alt tab, but... <laughs> <laughs> the only uh, back when I played World of Warcraft, it was pretty much necessary for you to have some uh, some mods for the game. I pretty much did like DPS calculators and something to like show boss mechanics, but that's pretty much it. War is pretty broken right now. Started a war. Paladin's too OP. Please never touch it. Ooh, warriors busted. Apparently, apparently, my chat's ready to start a war. Internet, we have new mods for anything. Down below. You can imagine why there's some controversy here. Honestly, nah. many people are scarred by the WoW debacle where the devs began designing encounters with plugins and mods. Exactly. People don't want that to become the standard here. Me personally, I would love to see content designed with Buddha Cat Girls in mind. For number eight, take my word for it and do not criticize the story. I mean, you can get away with talking bad about A Realm Reborn and sometimes Stormblood, but if you so much as imply that Heaven Sword and Shadow Shadowbringers aren't the absolute pinnacle of storytelling. You will be met with stinky samurai swords at the ready. It's totally Ew. fine if the story isn't your thing, but I don't recommend going around telling people how boring and stupid you find it. Because the vast majority of us at least somewhat enjoy, if not simp, for the story. I do is simp. Insane. This is not like every other MMO community where the story being bad is universally accepted. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> true. There's no point even pretending to follow the story in World of Warcraft. I don't know how many times I have to rewrite the lore before we just went, eh. <laughs> but I will say, Final Fantasy story has been beautiful. Nine might seem kind of obvious, but if you ask any WoW player, they'll probably laugh and agree that their game is toxic as hell. But do not say this about the 14 community. Do not say that passive-aggressive behavior is also problematic. As long as they're not telling you how terrible you are at the game, it's fine if they type things like, Never had anyone tell me that using the in-game free cure trait was a bad thing, but okay, mentor. I don't know if you've what? heard this already, but Final Fantasy 14 won the best community award and if you think some players hide their toxicity behind subtle grieving behaviors you would be right but you will also be met with a lot of what about isms referring to wow the 14 yep. community isn't the best of all time yep yep that's how it that's how it goes you insult something and go well but what about this thing that's worse it's like the best way to try to invalidate someone's argument it's like i think this is a problem <laughs> you think that's a problem what about this one it's like well yes that's that's also a that's also a problem, but what about this one? Oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna ignore this. Uh, okay. As the moist meter king would say, but they pride themselves on being hashtag better than wow. Better not piss on that parade. And number ten, it's very similar to number nine. Do not talk badly about the devs. This is one of the most controversial things on this list. And if you talk about the developers in a slightly negative way, and Satan forbid, it's about Yoshi P, the fourteen Lord and Savior of all people. You will be assassinated. I guarantee it. If you've ever wondered, just straight up, just straight up killed. Company is a meme here. It's because some players treat them as if they're a tiny dev team that should never be criticized. You may be thinking to yourself, but they're literally part of Square Enix, which is correct. But how dare you say it out loud? <laughs> Scroll through the comments and one day there will be at least one person responding to this part of this video. The devs work really hard. They care about the game. They're not greedy like other devs, etc, etc. Which is proof this should be on the list. No worries, human. I'm happy to take this bullet for you. Thank you. Let's do it by now. Thank you. And an extra sore subject for <gasps> you to avoid. Welcome to our final surprise Topic number Yay. 11. This one's crucial, so get out your pen and paper. Oh, Do oh god. Do not say you like other MMOs better than 14. If you don't follow any of my other advice on this list, at least listen to this one. Anything is true about a- I'm safe. This is my favorite MMO, so I'm safe. Safe. Thank you. Us 14 players, we hate. Wow. Terra Online? Can't stand it. Lost Ark? Damn, that's crazy. Hope he finds it. Laden Soul? Gamers don't have a soul! Yeah, no. If you imply this game isn't the best MMO on the market, you will be shunned. Whenever you try to mention something- I thought you were going to be shot, and honestly, that would have been, been better. 
prove on, you will always be met with. But this MMO is worse, which shuts down every conversation on the matter. Don't waste your time. I mean, if you're planning to quit the game for good anyway, you should just use Shout Chat and Limsa Lamenza and say, Wow, it's so much better than this game. Can't believe you weeaboos enjoyed this garbage. Damn. Sit back to enjoy Put him down. The carnage. Only you says as a last Fucking resort, weebs. Because it can inflict psychological damage on the Kote players. And there you have it, folks. 11 things you should never talk about in 14. Unless you want to be universally hated. Then definitely talk about these things. Talk about them a lot. In fact, you should be like the Sephiroth of 14. Just popping into our lives with hot takes that no one ever asked for. Creating a rift between... I don't know, healers and tanks? Well, <laughs> the devs already did that for you. Wait, <gasps> no, that wasn't me criticizing the devs. Oh, uh, a video over now. Stop. Cut the tape. Cut the... I am the one wing gamer. Goodbye. Doing you a favor. Bad opinions, but admit they got some flavor. And if you've got some time, here's a run that you can savor. One more reminder, Yoshi P is our savior. A great creator. That doesn't need haters, and it makes you a traitor to say you can do greater. Don't know Japanese, but I'm still his translator. Suck so his 12-inch potato. Call that a dictator. Eat it up in your crater. Or save it for later. Chew you up, spit you out. Masticator. Give it up, Sims. Making all our little hearts waver. New novel. Seduced by the 14 operator. Hell yeah. Damn, that was great. And that Estolfo picture is not great. Lucy, that was awesome. I love that video. And no, that's not just me simping.